The next speaker, Erin Graham, EDST, PhD. Why is there a feminist critique and challenge to harm reduction? Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> Yay. I'm using up my time. Okay, I'm going to talk. In the debate about what to do about Vancouver's sex industry, the voices of those who promote prostitution as sex work claim expertise to speak on behalf of or as sex workers. This dissertation seeks the voices of women who work in frontline women's services, such as rape crisis centers, resource centers, transition houses, and what they learn from women about the effects of male violence, including prostitution. The women on the front lines are not the ones developing harm reduction policies, but are nevertheless often charged with implementing them. Oh, that was tough. My intention is to look at how the particular discipline named harm reduction, chiefly a medical intervention, undermines the political principles of frontline works and the relationships with the women that these women serve. Before I came to graduate school, I worked in volunteer and paid capacities for many years in rape crisis centers and other women's services, and as a mental health worker at an agency that served women and men. I am a radical feminist, or as Andrea Dworkin once said, not the fun kind. <laughs> Harm reduction is meant to reduce public disorder, reduce mortality and morbidity. Drug users become sick and or die because of actions related to drug use. Harm reduction measures address the actions of the drug consumer. Prostituted women become sick and or die because of the actions of the men who buy them for sex. Measures called harm reduction address the actions of the women who are the object of consumption. They do not therefore reduce the harm of prostitution. Those who are claiming to apply the practice of harm reduction in relation to prostitution begin with these assumptions. First, that prostitution is inevitable, that is a woman's choice, made under constrained circumstances for sure, but nevertheless her choice. Second, that harm reduction, no, no, wait, sorry, that harm is inevitable and that the best we can do is reduce it. On the other hand, Frontline workers listen to and learn from women telling them about the conditions of their lives. And they reach conclusions. These conclusions are that more often than not, women do not choose prostitution. And they are driven to it by poverty, often conditioned to it by childhood sexual assault. Women serving organizations develop a practice-based evidence or praxis whereby the theory emerges from the practice. The aims of the work are to provide safety and practical assistance to women as well as to organize women to join the work. One of my interviewees cautioned that it's important in responding to a woman calling a rape crisis center or women's resource center to never just reduce her to a client, but to treat her as an ally. She calls a women's group purposely to get something that she knows she will not get from a generic crisis line or the cops. My dissertation will add to the discussion about prostitution the voices of frontline anti-violence workers, women who are not content with these false notions of harm reduction, but wish to act in collaboration and alliance together and to open choices to all women that are much more than the choice between the devil and the deep blue sea.